Blessed with an abundance of sunshine, sprawling orchards, and vast vineyards, the Okanagan Valley in the heart of British Columbia has plenty to offer. Yet there is another star attraction that because it operates above the valley floor, you often hear it well before it is seen. Each year, thousands are drawn to the Kettle Valley Steam Railway, not only for its history, but to experience firsthand the majesty and raw power of the last fully operational steam locomotive in Canada. Well, we like to say uh, the 3716 and uh, the train itself is history in motion. And uh, for our guests that come up here, it's a multi-dimensional experience. Now, what we are finding is that a lot of people that are now in their 60s and 70s and 80s remember as children riding steam trains, uh, you know, through the farming communities. And they turn around and they bring their grandkids up here. And people also come up here for the scenery, they come up for the music, they come up for the train robberies. So that's why we have a multi-dimensional experience. Located in Summerland, B.C., the Kettle Valley Steam Railway began operating as a heritage railway in September of 1995. Its primary mission then remains the same today, to preserve a significant piece of Canadian rail history dating back to 1910. The railway initially uh, was built by the CPR as a short line, and uh, Lord Shaughnessy had contracted out to Andrew McCullough, the chief engineer, to come in and survey uh, the area of the Okanagan for accessible routes uh, to put in a rail line. It was a very difficult terrain, uh, but uh, they continued to put the line through and uh, through some very hazardous areas. And there was a lot of uh, bridges that had to be built and uh, rock to be blasted, tunnels to be put in. What became known as McCullough's Wonder would take five years to complete. Finally, in 1950, the 325-mile Kettle Valley Railway would celebrate the start of what would be more than a 70-year run as a vital link between BC's Okanagan Valley and distant markets east and west. Gradually though, due to advances in transportation and high operating costs, the Canadian Pacific Railway decided to cease operation of the KVR in 1989. Well, when the CPR decided to shut down the Kettle Valley Railway, as it was known, there were uh, visionaries in, in Summerland who uh, felt that this would be an opportune moment to uh, at least preserve a section of the railway. There was uh, an original society that was formed uh, the latter part of 1995, and they struggled because they didn't have any equipment. And another society was formed, uh, which is now uh, known as the Kettle Valley Railway Society in 1998, and it has been the uh, caretaker of a legacy that uh, we are very proud of. Utilizing 10 miles of the original KVR line, the Kettle Valley Steam Railway early on operated with a loner locomotive and two passenger coaches. In 2003, the railway would get a major facelift when it successfully petitioned the provincial government for a prized steam locomotive, the Consolidation 3716. Well, it was built in 1912 by the Montreal Locomotive Works, um, ordered by the CPR, uh, mainly for hauling freight. Uh, worked most of its life in the west, uh, Winnipeg West, into the Kootenays. Originally built as a coal burner, uh, converted to an oil burner in about the late 40s. It's quite a thrill to be in control of this much power. Um, there's really no experience like it. Renamed the Spirit of Summerland in 2010, the century-old 3716, with all its bells and whistles, is a crowd favorite. Yet by no means is it the only feature that makes a ride on the Kettle Valley Steam Railway so enjoyable. Uh, we do follow the uh, sides of the mountain uh, through Prairie Valley, so you're looking down on, on the valley itself, and most of the uh, valley now is being uh, converted in, over into wineries, so, and it looks very beautiful. And of course, it's those other things, the sound of the engine, the whistle, uh, the uh, quick clack of the uh, wheels. Come on, you can do it with me. Woo! Woo! The other thing too that we hear is uh, we love the staff and volunteers. You know, when people come up here and they ask us questions, I think that that is the light switch for us because we believe in what we do. We are storytellers and uh, sometimes we embellish a bit to make it more interesting, but that, that's part of the fun. 
Something else that makes the Kettle Valley Steam Railway fun are the special event trains it features at various times throughout the year. By far the most popular is one that brings alive a slice of the Wild West. Uh, the Garner Valley Gang is a non-profit organization such as we are and uh, the Garner Valley actually robs our train. You didn't pay up! And we, uh, we also have our dance hall girls and a sheriff on board when this takes place. It's a very exciting time. They come uh, riding out of nowhere, firing their guns, and the train stops, and the robbers board, and uh, they start cleaning out everybody's pockets. And uh, so it's memorable. And uh, that is followed by uh, a barbecue, and the food is fabulous. On average, the Kettle Valley Steam Railway plays host to nearly 30,000 people from around the world. To stay on track and keep them coming, Ron Restrick and his staff have perfected a simple formula. It starts with good old-fashioned hospitality that is then cleverly blended with the thrills of riding an authentic steam train so that by journey's end, no one goes home disappointed. We hope that they feel that uh, they have learned something or relive something, and we know that happens. But more importantly, we want them to think of us as something that they would recommend to their friends, and that is the, the highest form of flattery for us. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.